Hello everyone, welcome to Restoring Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters. I am the authoress of uh, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters. And uh, my topic today is gonna really be about relationships. I feel like, you know, a lot of people have been having questions about it. So it just came to mind and I just wanted to add my little opinion about it and how we can go about having long-term, healthy, productive relationships not just uh, romantic but also just in our everyday lives and our pl platonic relationships as well so let me get straight to it because I'm out and about and I have another errand to run in a few seconds but I wanted to drop this little video right quick to let you guys know that I'm I'm here I'm thinking about you and I want to take time out to to show you guys that so today I want to talk about it let's talk about it let's be real comment below click the share button and if you enjoy this video and you know have other people come to my channel and like my uh and click the like on my uh, page i really appreciate it to follow me uh you know i get it we are beautiful people overall god made us innately good people he made us brilliant people we're beautiful we're talented we're creative uh, every a, a lot of other races try to emulate or imitate african-american people because we are just that you know i want to say the right word but we're, we're just that people we we are the chosen people you know and so because of that most of us are accomplished we're, we're educated um you know we work really hard we take care of ourselves we take care of our families um you know we have our own we we purchase our own homes and even if we're renting we got our own space we're we're dependable we're reliable we work out we take care of our temples many of us work out we make sure aesthetically we look good uh we take care of our smiles our teeth um we're here we represent well and we do it many of us do it with ease because it's just who we are as people i get it we're brilliant people we're talented people we're creative people god blessed us immensely and so then the question becomes because i asked this question on my facebook page before why is it that so many gifted talented people are still asking the question why where are the where are their mates you know why can't we seem to be successful in matters of the heart why is it that our relationships don't last? Well, I'm gonna try to answer those questions just briefly and I'll get into a more deeper detailed video much later. But these are just some key points. Even though we have all of this stuff going on for us, you know, there's still some a couple of points that I wanna make that could be blocking our mate from getting to us. And the number one thing I can think of, um, and that would be t uh, childhood trauma or just experiences that we had in childhood that may make us see the world differently than most people. And we have to point those things out. Any childhood trauma may create trust issues. It's gonna make you more protective over yourself. It's gonna make you not wanna really open up to everybody because you don't know if you can do that or not. And so those issues have to be dealt with. I'm sorry, I don't care how good we look on the outside if we don't deal with the ugliness on the inside our toxic behavior our perceptions things that happen to us our traumas then that stuff that energy that we have inside of us it comes out it doesn't matter how attractive we are and if that negative energy or that toxic behavior comes out other people are going to feel it and they're going to see it and that could be blocking us from maintaining long-term healthy relationships so i wanted to bring that out you guys we can't cover up not an, you know there's not enough makeup in the world to cover up an ugly heart you know there's not enough bodybuilding for men in the world that's going to cover up an ugly heart it, it is what it is the energy will speak and tell all i would say another thing would be unforgiveness in our hearts and you know what unforgiveness does to us it renders us powerless it renders us powerless and, and it, it keeps us from being able to move forward. And what I mean by rendering us powerless is that the people that we don't forgive or the person we don't forgive, we give our power over to them. They have it. And how you can determine that is that let that person walk in the room. If your whole energy changes, if you get I, you know mad and upset and your whole face change, you haven't forgiven that person. That person has power over you. 
and that's not a good place to be so you're stuck in that unforgiveness and that energy that you're keeping inside of you is going to repel any good person or good thing trying to to come about into your life it's going to repel it because it's not good clean energy we have to get healthy you guys there's no way around it so us forgiving the people that hurt them it's not really for them per se it's for us so we can gain our power back and be healthy productive people that's what this is about i want to encourage that because we got all the other stuff most of us got all of that other stuff figured out let's get our internal stuff figured out too you know god would want us to be that way so we can live in the design that he's created us to be another point would be is and most important point is we have to do our work we have to work on the things that's internal that's blocking our blessings whatever you want to call it that's stopping us to fulfilling our goals our dreams our aspirations and actually uh getting the the love that we deserve we all deserve to be loved we all de deserve to have love and to be able to give love healthy and effectively and to receive that same type of love healthy productive love that's going to mend our community together because we know how to treat each other because we know how to handle each other we know how to speak to each other we know how to encourage each other we know how to love each other we build communities and strong foundations based off of that you guys so my thing is today instead of asking where are all the good men where are all the good men at ladies ask am i the good woman that's ready for that good man and and men where are all the good women at well, they're definitely not at the strip club and i'm not down to women that may have to strip but i mean nine times out of ten you're not going to find wifey material at a strip club or you're not going to find it on the strippers page and the instagram model pages where they're showing their behinds because they feel like that's all they have to offer you're on their pages instead of real women pages that works hard that takes care of themselves that's done their work that's ready for a husband I mean, we all say we want something. Now it's time for us to walk into what, what it is we really want. We It's time for us to show up, y'all, and show out. Stop playing small for all these other people. They're watching us. And it's, it's time for us to, 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 I don't know, the baton has been passed. Are we, are we healthy enough to carry it and take it all the way through uh, to the course? You know, the marathon continues. And I know y'all know a great person said that. So we got to continue this race, you guys. And we start within ourselves, our internal self. I can give an example of repelling good men. A perfect example. And I, I, I mean, I'm only going to give just the small key points. But I can remember not growing up in a not so okay home. I mean, we had some good times. I love my family. I love my father, my mother, my brothers and I. But we had some challenges. Uh, we had domestic violence in our home and in our family, in our family's life. My dad was abusive, physically abusive to my mother and my brothers and I. And it was all handed down to him. And then I'm sure it was handed down to his, his, his father. And then it was handed down. It was a hand-me-down. And all of these hand-me-downs came from slavery. I want y'all to pay attention to that. We have to be, we have to remind ourselves. And that's why I, I no longer, I don't spank my children. And I don't recommend other people spanking their children. We didn't really get spanked as children. We got beat. I mean, they were using, y'all know what I'm talking about. They were using anything they could use. They were using uh, extension cards, belts, wire hangers, whatever they could get their hands on to whip us with, to hurt us, and to bring us under submission. Guess what? That came from something read study and show ourselves approved so that we can become better people so all of that came from something i went on to say that because that was a hand-me-down from my uh father's side and so because of the domestic violence that happened in our home and how my dad used to beat on my mom and then she would forgive him in return and take him back and then like maybe a couple of hours later they were back in love with each other and they were back loving and kissing and holding each other after he had given her a black eye. Can you imagine how I learned how to love and receive love that way? Well, I learned it the wrong way and I went about it in the choices in the, of the men that I allowed into my life. So that's just an example, you guys. It's like how we start off as children determines how we're able to give and receive love. So 
that may be the answer to your question maybe it is what you think is good is really not good and you have to reprogram your thinking so and, and even with the bed I mean there are uh, mothers that that are not there for for their children as well so we have to really pay attention to that and um, I think I'm gonna cut this video short because it started raining and I really need to get out of here and run my next errand but that's just a tidbit of why we can't seem to be successful in matters of the heart and I want us to be successful because we're automatically a successful people but that's but let us we need to learn how to get the love part right so that we can have long-term healthy relationships and we can example those healthy long-term relationships to our children and then they do it and then they their children children do it and then we just keep going and we keep building and we keep making our our race of people better and healthier I love you guys. That's why I took time out of my busy day to point this out because I want us all healthy and loving and strong and I want us to rebuild our communities back up and we have to start in the home. So let's start in the home. You guys be blessed. Remember to, um, if you haven't done so, to click to subscribe to my channel and share my messages so that I can get out um, more broader and I can build my audience. I appreciate you guys. I love you. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself.